Hey guys, I am on my lunch break at my nine to five job at Platinum Realty. I'm not a realtor, um, I'm the director of operations here and I do all kinds of things. I wear many hats, I could talk for hours about the many responsibilities that I have and things that I do. Um, in short, I do a lot of marketing, I do a lot of flyers, I do a lot of communication with agents, blah, 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 the list goes on. Um, but what I want to talk to you about today is the sewing lesson that I had yesterday. We didn't do any sewing, um, but we did do a lot of other things. So my sewing instructor, seamstress lady, her name is um, Crystal, and she's 31 years old. And she actually did an internship for Alexander Wang in New York, which is really, really cool. Uh, she did it for about three or six months and she said she loved it but it was a lot of work a lot of running around getting fabrics this that and the other thing um, so her experience was really crazy but it sounds like it was a good one um, so yesterday we met at Joanne fabric and we sat down at the table where they have all the pattern books and we picked out a Vogue pattern it is um, kind of a simple pattern it's a on it but it's really modern so it doesn't it doesn't really look like flowers. I'll have to um, post a video. I left the fabric at her place, um, but I did take a picture of it, so I'll show you a picture or I'll post it or something. Um, so what we did yesterday was we picked out the pattern, picked out the fabric, got a zipper, three little um, hook and eyes, which is how it's going to be fastened, and then we went back to her place and we laid out the pattern and we cut all cut it all out. She kind of explained the pattern to me. Um, she explained sizing to me, which I had no idea. She, because um, they don't come, so basically there's a wide range of sizes, obviously. And I'm actually a 12 or a 14. And what the fashion world and companies do is they do, um, they kind of do some, basically they play tricks on people's heads, basically, and make them think that, they wear a size four or two or six when really in the pattern making world you probably wear like a 12 or a 14 so apparently I'm between a 12 and a 14 which I'm totally fine with who cares I know what my measurements are I'm fine with them I'm working towards my fitness goals whatever blah 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 so that was something really interesting so when I have the pattern I'll actually kind of go over with you guys what I learned from there um, but we cut out the pattern pieces which is this really really thin paper if you haven't worked with fabric or patterns before it's scary because you feel like you're gonna rip it or tear it or put a hole in it um, so we cut all those out we press the fabric because that's really important there can't be any wrinkles in it because it could hinder the cutting out of the pieces for the pattern sizes um, and then we traced a on pattern paper that you can buy we traced one of the patterns on the opposite side because that's how you have to cut it out so it's very intricate and I'm really glad that I decided to use crystal to help me with um, my first couple of pieces because I think I probably would have screwed things majorly up and I'm sorry that the Sun keeps affecting the video um, but yeah we laid everything out everything fits on the fabric so we're good there and um, we're gonna schedule next week or the weekend sometime to where we will put everything back <clears throat> excuse me We'll lay the patterns back out on the fabric. We will pin everything down and then we'll cut with um, fabric scissors. You have to have fabric scissors. It's really, really important that you have fabric scissors and don't cut anything with them besides fabric. And I need to thank Carol Weatherford, well, Carol Kennedy, for forcing me a couple years ago to buy a pair of Fisker scissors for like 20 some odd dollars, which apparently they can go up to $300. Scissors can, fabric scissors, crazy but true. Um, so we're going to pin things down, cut it all out, and then we're going to start sewing. So we kind of went over the sewing machine, how to put um, thread on the bobbin, where it goes, threading the actual machine itself, um, that sort of thing. So hopefully the next time I'm there, maybe I'll even have it finished. I don't know. We'll just have to see um, how long it takes. So I may even have a finished piece within the next week or so, which is really exciting. And actually, I'm going to pull up that photo of the fabric and see if I can show you guys. If not, oh well, you'll see it later because I did. I left it at her house. This is what it looks like. Doesn't really do it any justice because the, oh there, that's a little bit better. 
Um, winter floral is going to be huge this fall, mainly this winter. So like black print with um, bright colors on it, but not over the top and not like the baby baby flowers because that's more springish. Um, so when I found that pattern or when I found that fabric, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is it. Like I knew it was kind of crazy. So that's all I have for now. Oh, oh, one more cool fact. So Crystal is um, the seamstress for the Regal Beagle, which is actually a huge famous dog in Austin, which is really, really cool. And she's making him a little outfit and I can't go into any details about it because it's secret, super secret. Um, but just wanted to share that with you. I think it was, it's just really cool that she's doing this. Um, and we really connected, which I was happy with. I wanted to have someone that could relate to me that knew my style, understood the pieces that I wanted to do. Um, so we aren't making anything that's like not something that I want to make. I get to pick everything. So I'm really excited to show you guys the finished product. So definitely stay tuned for that. Have a great day.